Hey guys, I'm Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I am a part-time reseller on both Poshmark and eBay as well as a few other platforms and today I have a giant thrift haul for you. So I went to two stores, um, one Friday after work and one yesterday, Saturday. I'm filming this on a Sunday and I have both of my receipts here. Um, I went to two different local savers and the first trip I spent $100 $39.59 for 30 items and in the second trip I spent $73.47 for 14 items. So a total of 44 items. I spent $213.06 which is a pretty big amount for me. Usually I'm under $100 every time I go to the thrift and if you average that out it's $4.84 per item. So let's just hop right in. This one might be a little bit longer of a haul than you're used to seeing here on my channel. I try to keep my videos pretty short, but I wanted to show you guys these items because I'm trying to branch out my business a little bit and learn some new categories and we will talk about those when we get there. Okay, so I have bags everywhere. As you can see, there's an Osprey bag here. There's a couple reusable bags. And so I'm going to be picking from a bunch of different locations. So they might be some from the first trip and some from the second, but they were all purchased over the last two days. So first up, you will have seen this guy in my thumbnail. And it's a plush, so I am trying to learn about some plush. I did join a Facebook group recently, and it's all about plush sales. So on eBay, Poshmark, wherever they sell their plush, and I've seen some really great returns on plush, so I'm trying to learn a new market. And this guy is Deadstock Vintage. Here's his tag. Um, so if you're not local to New England or Rhode Island, Foxwoods is a casino in Lincoln, Rhode Island. And this is the Foxwoods Fox. Now I did try to look him up online because I've never sold plush before so I don't really know anything about it. And I can't find him anywhere. I saw one comp on like a Google search but it didn't tell me what it sold for. It just showed the item. Can't find him listed anywhere. I don't know if maybe he's a rare piece, but he was $5. I haven't taken any of the tags off. Excuse my gross looking nails right now. Um, and 20% off of the $5, but I'm interested to see what he will do. I might even go and put him on auction uh, over on eBay just to see um, if there's any interest, but I'm really excited about him. He's kind of cool. Also in the thumbnail, you will have seen this mini. She's also a dead stock vintage with her tag. She's from Walt Disney World and she's tennis mini. She even has a little racket here, um, $2.99. Couldn't find any comps really on her either. I saw some newer tennis minis, but she's definitely vintage and she's in decent shape. So we'll see how this one does. And if you know anything about any of these plushes or any of the regular items I show you in this thrift haul, please let me know down below. I love learning from you guys and you always seem to help me out when I have problems. So please leave it in the comments below. There are a few more plushes I think, but they're in the bottom of a bag. So I'm just gonna move on to the next item that I can reach and it is this ramen bag. I found this towards the end of this thrift trip. This was from the first trip. Um, and I noticed the little dongle here. I actually thought it might be Dooney and Burke when I first saw it, but it is a Brahmin and she was $10, I think. Yep. Here is her little inner tag, if this will focus. And bonus, also a new with tags. So this is the Luis in soft Tuscan. It doesn't have a price. It looks like it might have been cut off on the bottom, but she is beautiful and I'm hoping she will do well. So I follow um, the Recycled Life here on YouTube. I love them, Laura and Selena, and they are two gal pals who go out and thrift and they sell their finds on the internet. And Laura, who is Left Coast Revival's one half of the Recycled Life, she recently showed this in a haul. It was a little bit of a different color wood, but 
I would never have known what this was without seeing her video. And it is actually a wine bottle holder in the shape of a hand. So here are the fingers. It is missing um, from this little hole here would be a loop and that holds the neck of the bottle, but it will still work as a wine holder. Um, I just like it. I think it's really cool. And if nobody wants this, I think I'm gonna put it in my booth. Um, but if nobody wants it, I might just keep it and make it my new little fruit bowl. But I just think it's so cool. Um, there's no stamp or anything on the bottom, but it was $3.99 minus 20% and happy to see what happens with this guy. All right, two more plushes. I think this is it for the plush, but this one is a Disney. I think this is like Brother Bear or something. Please correct me in, um, if I'm wrong in the comments below, but oh yeah, it does say on the tag actually. Brother Bear, can I? I'm not sure if that will show up for you. Um, K-E-N-A-I. I looked up comps on him and they're about $25 or so. And he was only $2.99. So the last plush is a little bit of a nostalgic one for me. I grew up loving The Lion King. I haven't been able to get myself to watch the newer live action one just because I love the original so much. Um, but this is Simba. And he is from Disneyland and Walt Disney World, so I'm assuming that means he was sold at the parks. Um, no other tags, but he was $1.99, and I'm hoping that he will also sell in probably the $25 range. Okay, some more hard goods. This is just a little hand-blown glass vase pitcher. I'm going to use it to propagate some plants. I have some taller bottles right now with some pothos trimmings in there, but I think this will look a little bit better, but I love the bubbles in the glass. So this one is definitely for me and it was $3.99. So this next one will go over to my booth at some point and it's just this little vintage glass bottle with the cork topper. It's really cute. Definitely needs a good cleaning, but he was $2.99. And on the bottom, it does look like it has like a compass. I can't really read the numbers on here, but I don't know. I thought that was a cool little detail, but it's like a glass decanter. I couldn't think of the word. It was bothering me. Next, we have this carved wooden vase. Let's see if we can get some of the detail on here for you. Um, it's Philippine Imports, um, made in Newton, Mass, but it says exclusively for um, Philippine Imports and handcrafted in the Philippines. Um, but it was $3.99 and this will definitely go over to my booth as well at some point. Next, I have a bag from the Bag of Bags, if you can hear me rustling it in my lap. And it's just for Liv and me. We do try to do a little bit of crafting and DIYs here, so this is like seven different paints and they all look to be pretty much unused. So I was happy to pay $4 for a bag of paints we can use. One bag down. I think the rest is mostly clothing and shoes, bags, um, the normal stuff that I pick up and not hard goods, but there might be some hiding in here somewhere. This one is just an Ikea. It's gonna be hard to show because they have it all um, pinned together, but it's just one of those like hanging storage things you can put on your closet rod and um, put like clothing, whatever in there. So this is going to go in Liv's room in her closet so she could put, I don't know, whatever she wants to put in here between her stuffed animals or, you know, socks, underwear, that kind of stuff. Oh, I do spy some hard goods in the bottom of this bag, but we'll get there when we get there. Um, so this is a Lulu's dress. I don't do too well with Lulu's. Um, I just sold my last piece a couple weeks ago, but this one, the price was right. Let me just push this bag over so you can see. It's just this like white lace overlay dress. It has like a nude color slip underneath, fun little sleeves, and it is a size extra large, so a great size. So for a long time, I've always found a Harry Potter item in the thrift store and no thrift stop was complete without me finding a Harry Potter item, but now it has turned to the Friends TV show <laughs> and this is just like a plain black tee with how you doing from Joey on the front and it's a size large, so another 
bigger size. I know I've told you in a few videos that I normally find just smalls or extra small and medium. I'll probably list this around $25. It's not like some rare piece or anything. This I think is the only men's item I found this weekend. It's an extra large from the North Face. And it's just like a snap front pullover in blue. Really cute, needs a wash, but other than that, it's pretty good. And it does have the kangaroo pocket in the front. These I really love. This is by Anthropology. It's a newer Anthropology style. These are the Essential Slim. I have sold these before for close to $30, I believe. And they're like a green velvet cropped pant with some buttons at the bottom, straight leg fit or slim leg fit, um, but these should do really well and they are size 10. And I always forget to say this in my videos, but if you see anything that you like, please reach out to me on Instagram. I'm super active over on Instagram and let me know what you want and we can work out a great deal. And it helps me out because then I don't have to work and list it to Poshmark and cross list to eBay. So it's a win-win. These next pair of jeans, I'm not sure how they will do. I've never tried to sell this type of jean before. So if you have any experience with this, please let me know down below in the comments. But these are a vintage Ralph Lauren pair of jeans. They're like a faded black wash, straight leg fit. It's kind of like, you know, the style these days with the mom jeans since according to TikTok, skinny jeans are out. Um, but these were only four at 79 minus the 20%. I thought they might do okay. So I found two St. John pieces this day, um, but one of them I left behind because they wanted $12, I think, and they were like a satin pant, but the bum area had a bunch of runs in the satin. So I left those behind, but I did pick this one up. So this is just a regular St. John size P. So I guess that's either petite or just small, um, but it is cashmere. Um, it obviously is like a short cap sleeve cashmere top, but it's really pretty and I love this orange color. Um, this was $8.99, so a little bit pricey, but for the brand and the material, I'm happy to pick that up, minus the 20%, of course. Sorry, I'll try to stop saying that, um, but hopefully this will do well. For me, I will try listing this first, and if it doesn't move for me, I will send it over to the Real Real. This is my second time finding this piece. I just thought it was funky, so I looked at the tag. This is Jam's World. I don't know if it has, it does have a size, size small, and it's just this really bright colored top. And it has like this little flowy ruffle sleeve. I know I'm not great with describing clothes, I'm sorry. Um, but I thought this was really fun, especially for the spring and summer coming up, and hopefully people will be able to go on some vacations, something this year, you know, just to get away the quarantine blues. So I'm hoping that will sell around 28 to 30. I've been really limiting myself with um, how much free people and anthropology I pick up. This is the one free people from this day and this one is intimately free people. It was only $5 so I figured I'd just try it out and it's just this little like basic tank top. Speaking of anthropology, here is one right now. This one is Maeve size large. I don't typically find free people or anthropology in large or extra large. So when I find it, if it's in good condition, I'll usually pick it up because those do better for me than the smaller sizes. But this is just this pretty neon blouse with this lace detail at the top. Again, a little like flutter sleeve here. Oh look, another anthropology. I only got this one because it was $2.99. So this is TLA. I think this is anthropology. It's either anthropology or Aritzia, one of the two. I get them confused, but this is a size small and it's just a basic V-neck tee in this pretty green color. It doesn't look like it's coming over on camera, the correct color, but it's like an emerald green. Excuse me while I fumble around trying to fold that in a pile. Um, this next one is Adidas. I usually only pick up these logo tees if they're in good shape and a decent price. This one's a size small and it's blue with this lime green trifoil logo on the front. Probably 20 to 25 for this one. 
This one is Urban Outfitters. Also another one I'm picky with. It's a size medium. But if nobody wants this, I will keep it for myself. It was for $49. And it's just this lightweight open front cardigan. It's very flowy. Hopefully I can find a stock photo for this because I'm not sure I'll be able to do it justice if I just do a flat lay like I normally do. This one I would really love to know if you guys have sold it before. This is my first time picking it up. It is COS. I'm not sure if you just say COS or if it's cost, something like that, but I figured at $349 price point I would try it out. But it's like a short sleeve sweater. Let me see what this is made out of. I don't know if I'd looked at this earlier. Um, this is 78% wool, 20% nylon, and 2% spandex. It's not itchy feeling like wool normally is though, so hopefully this will do well. A couple more items in this bag. This is Ivy Park. I've only found this a few times. Both were leggings. This is my first time picking up a top. This is extra small. And it's just a long sleeve t-shirt with the Ivy Park spell out down the sleeve. If you didn't know, Ivy Park is the Beyonce activewear line. This next one is going straight to the Real Real. I don't typically do well with this brand even over there, um, but I figured at this price point I would try it out yet again. This is Lafayette 148 and it's just a blazer. All right, a couple hard goods from this same first trip. This is a little bell, um, and I just thought it was cute. And it does say Aruba on the side. Just one of those like tchotchkes that you pick up on vacation, but I like to put um, some like travel inspired souvenirs in my booth. They tend to sell really quick for me over there. Next is a little like trinket box, and I just really loved the detail on the front it kind of looks japanese um the sticker is covering anything that might be on the bottom so i don't know if it might have a stamp or sticker um, but it was 3.99 and then the last um hard good from this day is this little hummel gobel I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it so please correct me in the comments below if you know and it's called a fair measure Come on. I don't know if that'll show up for you, but it does say a fair measure on the side, which makes it easier to look up. I did research this one on eBay, and I will insert a picture um, of the comps over here. It looks like around $50 to $60, so I'm hoping that that'll sell around that, and that will be a great return for me because he was only $6. And another bag gone. Bear with me as I move this pile over so I have some room to show you more stuff. Okay, I think this is the last item from that first day and this is a Marc Jacobs purse. Really beautiful pink color. It does have some issues. So on this back strap, it is starting to fray a little bit. There we go. Um, but not too big a deal. And then on the back, there's also like a small spot of denim transfer. But otherwise, she's pretty clean inside. I did pay up for this one. This was $18. But hopefully it'll be a good return. And it does have a serial number here in the pocket. So I'm hoping that might be able to turn up. Um, the style name because I feel like that will help sell it more but I really loved this bag and I think this is uh, Safiano leather um, it just feels really nice all right thrift trip number two coming at you um, so this first item is just for myself it is this blue rhino skillet for the grill and last year when I bought my house I bought it just a few days before my birthday which is July 4th so yay summer birthday um, but I bought myself a grill as a birthday present so I'm gonna use this to maybe make some like stir fry or just to cook vegetables on the grill with well technically I probably won't be the one using this because the grill kind of terrifies me actually and I hate to cook but it'll get used um, for personal stuff and I'm excited for this I did look up comps it only sells for like $10 at 
at Lowe's um, and I paid $5 for this, but I just was happy to pick it up being brand new. Next we have a pair of Vans. These are the high top style. They're in really good shape. They still have the logos on the back that are in good condition as well. They're like an army green color. And these are, I think a six and a half men's, eight women's. Yeah, six and a half men, eight and women's. So these I did pay up a little bit for. I think they were $12, but I should get about 30 to 35 hopefully for these. Next is probably my favorite find of the second trip and it is this Osprey Talon 22 bag. Um, I've had a couple Ospreys in the past. The most recent one I've had, I took to Peru when I did the Inca Trail in 2017. It's just a little bit big and it is a top loader style so I don't really use it anymore since I've come back from Peru. I just, it just doesn't get used. So I think what I'm gonna do is swap out this one for that other one that I have and sell that one. And then this one will be my new hiking backpack. It's in really excellent shape. Not sure why nobody picked this up. It was just laying on the floor underneath all the purses and I spotted it. So it was, I think 13, 12 or $13 around that point. And I figured for personal use, I will definitely pick that up. But if I was to sell this, the comps on eBay look to be around 55 to $70 in this condition. So a great pickup either way. And she's filled with a bunch of goodies because I didn't bring my reusable bag into the store, so I just had them put everything in the backpack. This item is for my daughter. She loves Deadpool and loves Pokemon. So this is a Deadpool Chew, Deadpool Pikachu, and I thought she would really like it. These I saw on the end of a rack that looks like they were just putting them out. Not sure why no one scooped these up, um, but I will say if these fit me, they are gonna be mine because I'm in love with them. These are made well. They are the 10 inch high rise skinny, so a great style and bonus. They have a button fly, which I personally love the exposed button fly. They're a little bit cropped and they have the frayed hem at the bottom. They are size 29 and like I said, I am in love with these. It's like really stiff denim. There is a little bit of puckering here in the back. I'm not sure if this will come across on camera on the bum area, but I figure if they're for me, then it's fine. And if not, hopefully I can still sell them with the puckering since you won't really be able to see it when they're worn. Here is my one free people item from this trip. This is We The Free and it's tangled. Hold on a second. <laughs> Here is the label. I'm sure most of you know what it looks like. This is their older label with the little metal tag. This was only $2.49, but it has this pretty like ombre dip dye at the bottom, like a little three quarter length sleeve, but it's very soft and lightweight. All right, let's see what we got. This is for me. I found a couple Wild Fable items, but I think this is the only one I picked up for myself. I really love the Wild Fable Target line. It was only $4.49 and it's just a waffle knit crop top long sleeve. I love gray. It's probably my favorite color besides green, but I hardly ever wear green. This one is cloth and stone. Again, don't pick up super often, but at this price point, I'll try it out again. I'm not sure if this one was sold at Anthropology or not. Some of them are, but it's just a chambray button front shirt with pockets. This one was kind of exciting. Um, soft Surroundings, it's like a catalog brand, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is $4.99, but I picked it up because it's 100% linen and it is a beautiful color. I love army green. But it's very like lag and look style. So this should do well, probably around $30 to $35. I think this might be the only anthro piece from this second day, but this one is moth. It's a size small, but I just thought it was really beautiful. It is this open front cardigan with this balloon sleeve and it does have a tie that goes around the waist. If you watch my real, real video that I posted on 
Saturday, last Saturday. Um, you'll know that I send a lot of Rachel Zoe into them. And this is another piece. This one's 100% linen, so great for the upcoming season. And it is like a pink and white striped with these big oversized sleeves. This should do super well since it is almost spring. One hard good from this day. This is just a little trinket bowl. Uh, I think this is polished coconut. That's what it feels like. Um, but I'm not quite sure. If you know, please let me know in the comments. But it was just $1.49. So I figured this might be a cute little item to put in my booth. Just two items left guys, just two. I'm sorry this has been a little bit longer of a video for you. Um, if you like longer videos, then hey, this is a great one for you. But this one is Power Hold by Fabletics. These are a size small. I don't pick up Fabletics anymore unless they actually have a size because it's been murder trying to figure out how to measure them and uh, determine the size and it makes it even harder to sell. But these are just like a blush pink skinny leg legging. The power hold um, leggings tend to do a little bit better than just the regular Fabletics, so hopefully around $25 to $28 on these. Last but not least, this is another activewear piece, but I didn't find it in the activewear section. Um, this is donuts and deadlifts. Size small, and it's just a waffle knit top with their logo in the middle and the back does say eat lift live it's not a very well known activewear brand as far as reselling goes i haven't seen that many people who know about it um i only know about it because when i used to be in the bodybuilding community like a lifetime ago um, i had a few pieces from them and so when i saw it i just picked it up for you know nostalgic reasons but i'm not going to wear this so i will sell it but it should do okay maybe 20 to 25 dollars if that but i do like to pick up those kind of pieces when i see them because it's not very often that i find those type of brands in my area Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. So a little over $200, $213.06 cents to be exact for 44 items. That doesn't include, you know, like the six or seven paints that were in that one bag, just the bag counted as a single item. But I'm happy to share hauls with you guys. Hopefully I can get these items listed soon because I am starting to get a little bit of a death pile here or a money pile, um, if you will. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a huge thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube so that I know what videos you guys enjoy seeing from me. And if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here and that way you won't miss any of my videos. I'm now posting on both Wednesday and Saturday, so twice a week. Sometimes I do have a random bonus video earlier in the week, maybe Sunday or Monday, if I have enough content to bring to you guys. And I would love to see you back here hanging out with me. So I will see you next time. Bye, guys.